Modern studio glass is a beautiful way artists can express themselves, but it wasn't always available to them. Until the 1960s, glass had to be produced in a factory setting due to the high temperatures required to melt the raw materials of glass. In 1962, a ceramic artist and instructor named Harvey Littleton organized a series of experimental workshops at the Toledo Art Museum. He invited his friend Dominic Labino, a scientist and engineer who worked with fiberglass used in space exploration, to help him. However, the first batch didn't melt properly, and Littleton's stoneware crucible broke apart in the heat. Labino gave Littleton new tools to try both a small kiln and special glass marbles used in his glass factory, which had a low melting point. It was a success. Littleton, Lubino, and others went on to teach other artists how to work with glass. In fact, Lubino even created some glass pieces in Greenfield Village's glass shop here at the Henry Ford in Dearborn, Michigan. We still work with glass every day at the glass shop in Greenfield Village, going all the way from the raw materials to beautiful pieces of art. Let's take a look at the process. The first step in glass making is called batching. The raw materials of glass are weighed and mixed. The base is a refined sand called silica, which is the mineral silicone dioxide. The mineral sodium carbonate, also known as soda ash, is added as a flux, or a material that allows another material to melt at a lower temperature. Also, the mineral lime is added as a stabilizer that prevents tiny cracks from forming in the glass. Like most artists, here at the Henry Ford, we purchase a pre-mixed batch. Then, to color it, we add in metal oxides. Different metals allow for different colors. We wear protective clothing during this step because the batch particles are so fine that they could be breathed in and hurt our lungs, and the oxides are poisonous. The next step is melting the batch. The batch is placed in a ceramic bowl called a crucible inside our furnace, which is at 2,350 degrees Fahrenheit. Over about one and a half hours, the batch melts. Notice the bubbles? These are gases escaping from the melting material. After the chemical reaction is done taking place, the bubbles are gone and we are ready to work with the molten glass. First, we gather by sticking a blowpipe into the hot glass and getting a nice portion, or gather, of glass. Then, the hot glass can be molded and shaped. We often use wood tools soaked in water to do this. The artist must constantly twirl the rod because gravity is pulling down on the glass. The artist can blow into the pipe to create a bubble inside the hot glass. Periodically, the artist must place the glass back into the furnace to reheat it, so it stays at a temperature where the glass is not hard. Sometimes, an artist intentionally uses gravity to his advantage in shaping a piece. We also shape the glass with tweezers and shears. In Greenfield Village, and with most artists, teamwork is used in creating glass. To use more than one color, we can either melt more batches using different colors or apply color by either rolling the glass into crushed glass, called frit, or by heating up small pieces of dense color bar and applying them to the glass. One special way of using multiple colors is called cane. Rods of different colors are bundled together. They are then often incorporated into larger objects. When a piece is done, it's removed from the punty rod. It goes into a furnace called an annealing oven, where the temperature of the piece is slowly brought down over a period of 24 hours. Without annealing, the pieces would cool too quickly and crack. 
Some pieces require cold working afterwards to get just the right look. Cold working can take many forms, including engraving, grinding, cutting, and polishing. Very strong tools must be used to have an effect on the glass. For instance, those using industrial diamonds. Every day in Greenfield Village at the Henry Ford, we make all kinds of beautiful glass pieces using this process. You can even try making your own. Greenfield Village is alive with the hard work and ingenuity that brought us to where we are today, including at our glass shop. We invite you to experience this for yourself.